Module 1. Testing your market. Creating a product starts with an idea. If you have an idea for an information product, you can turn that idea into a money-making machine. So as long as you understand the process that you should follow. That's where this video module comes in. And that's what I'm going to be teaching you. How to turn your ideas into dream products and your dream products into reality. If you're having trouble coming up with an idea for a product, think about some of the things you're interested in and passionate about. It's much easier to create a product in a niche that you can get fired up about than to create one in a niche that you have no interest in. In any case, your idea will be the foundation of your product. Once you come up with the idea, test the market to see if it's viable. And if it is, stick with it. Before you begin creating a product, you're going to want to make sure that there is a demand for it in your market. For example, if you're going to be targeting women who want to lose weight after giving birth, you're going to want to do some research to see what's selling and what isn't. This can be done several ways. Number one is keyword tools. By using keyword tools, such as Google AdWord keyword tool, you get an idea whether or not there is a general interest in your product idea. Just set the tool to phrase and type in your main keyword and see if it and the suggested keywords are getting a decent amount of searches. If your keyword is getting a large amount of searches, that's a good start, but doesn't necessarily mean you have a winning idea. There are other factors to take into consideration as well. Also, take a look at the competition rating on the keyword tool. If there is a high amount of competition, that means that more likely there is profit to be made because people wouldn't be spending money on AdWords if they weren't turning a profit. Number two, checking competition on Google. Too much competition can be hard to overcome, so make sure you do check on your keywords in Google wrapped in quotation marks. If you see millions of pages coming back, and other info products taking to the top spots, it could be difficult to get organic traffic from Google. The good news is, as there are many other ways to market your product that don't rely on Google, so even if there's a stiff competition in the SERPs, search engine results pages, there are ways to overcome that. However, if you do not want to rely on Google for most of your traffic, then it would be a good idea to avoid tough competition. Number three, researching forums. Think about what niche your product is in and do a search for forums in that niche. For example, if your product is going to be in the internet marketing niche, you're going to want to check out forums such as the Warrior Forum to see if your product idea is hot or not. This can be a great opportunity to interact with the forum members and see what kind of info products they would like to buy. You may even come up with new ideas that you haven't even thought of yet by getting feedback this way. Number four, researching marketplaces. Another great way to research your product idea is to see if similar products are selling at various online marketplaces. ClickBank, Amazon, eBay, and others are great places to check out to see what's currently selling in your niche. If you want to create a weight loss product, you can see exactly what types of weight loss info products are selling. Keep in mind that on some sites such as Amazon, you can't see exactly how many products have sold out, but you can check to see ratings and reviews. On ClickBank, gravity is a rough indicator of what products have the most affiliates promoting them, as we'll see later. Number 5. Moving Forward Once you've determined that there is a demand for your idea, you can begin to plan out how you're going to create it. Is it going to be an ebook, video series, audio series, or something else? The method you choose to present your info product to your market is very important, and you don't have to choose just one. In fact, the more ways you present your info product to your market, the better. We'll get into that in more detail later. For now, you're going to want to concentrate on gathering all the info you're going to need to draft an outline of your product. 